Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Learning Engineering Solutions. In this video, you will learn how to do pipeline sizing. The main purpose of line sizing is to determine pump head requirements, comply design parameters, meet standard ranges for fluids, and the cost optimization. The main factors which impact the line size are the pressure drop, velocity, and the erosion. The basic principle to determine the line size based on economical aspects, that is, minimizing the sum of operational cost and investment cost. The selection criteria for pipeline size should not be too large that it becomes uneconomical or too small that it is not viable hydraulically. In economics, the piping cost is a main cost, that is, if we switch in between 3 to 2 inch, then the cost would be significant. Similarly, the pumping requirements that the smaller line size requires more supply pressure, so we have we have to add the more pumps. Third one is the pipe sports cost. Fourth one is the pipe material cost, and the last one is the pipe requirement power requirements. In hydraulics, the first one is the effect of velocity and the turbulence for compressible fluids, for example, air, steam, and the nitrogen. The only design concern is to avoid sonic velocity which is typically greater than 100 feet per second while for non-compressible application which is are mostly used in designs velocity and the turbulence are concerns it is necessary to maintain a fully turbulent flow to avoid stagnant areas in the piping system second one in the hydraulics is the pressure drop effects smaller the pipe size result in larger pressure drop so it requires a balance between a pipe size and the pumping requirement. Impact of fluid holdup in pipe is the third one and the hydraulics. Impact that is a smaller line size minimizes the liquid potential loss. So it becomes governing criteria for the size. Vice versa the largest pipe size will hold the potential of the liquid flowing through the pipe. The size of the pipe is expressed in two ways. First one is a nominal pipe size (NPS), and the second one is the diameter nominal (DN). NPS is measured in inches and DN in mm, and both are interconvertible. The pipe size are designed designated by two numbers: pipe diameter and the thickness. Pipe diameter is generally associated with inside diameter. Pipe size. 14 and greater NPS is equal to outside diameter. Pipe wall thickness is referred to the pipe schedule. The main steps for the line size procedures are stated here. In the first step, you have to assume the line size, the length and the dia. In the second step, you will calculate the velocity uh, and then you will calculate the pressure drop in third step and the fourth step you will counter check the velocity and the pressure from the recommended ranges and if it comply with the recommended ranges then your selected line size is okay and if it is not then you have to repeat the step 2 to 4. These are the formulas for the velocity calculation and the pressure drop calculations. In pressure drop calculation the moody friction factor is one of the key parameters and similarly, the other parameters are selected from the standard tables. For the Moody friction factor, you have to select few parameters. In first one, you have to select the pipe roughness according to your material. If your material is the carbon steel, then you will select the 0 0.05 for the non-crudded and 0.5 for the crudded. Similarly, for the stainless steel, you have to select the 0 0.05 as a roughness. After that you will calculate the Renault number and relative roughness and then you will use the Moody friction chart to find the friction factor. This is the Moody friction chart. In the uh, uh, right y axis you can see the relative roughness and in the x axis there is a Renault number. Through these two combination you will uh, uh, find out the friction factor which is used in, a, in the calculation of the pressure drop for the uh, pipeline size. A 
Cubular length is selected as per the fittings and the materials we are using on the pipeline. For the fittings 90 degree elbow for the shorter radius our equivalent length is 22. Similarly if we add, add the glow valves or any other type of valves we have to select the equivalent length according to, to its type. And in this table you can uh, have a look on the uh, number of the equivalent length according to the pipe fittings. Following velocities are also calculated which depends upon the fluids which, which is uh, used as a service media for your pipeline. For liquid fluids, original velocity is the major impact and for the gas or the vapor, there is a sonic velocity and the noise velocity you, you, you have to calculate it. And for the slurry flow, uh, fluid, you have to uh, calculate the minimum velocity as well as the original velocity. Schedule number is selected as per the flange rating and this table shows the flange rating and the schedule number for the stainless steel and the carbon steel material. And you can see that if the flange rating is 150 pound and the line size is less than 2 inch then the schedule number will be 80. And similarly with the flange rating with the 300 pound and the 600 pound we will find the, the schedule number according to the line size. Now uh, after, uh, after all uh, steps when you have calculated the, the velocity and, and the required velocities according to your fluid and you have, you have calculated the pressure drops, uh, you ha uh, in this stage you will uh, compare it with, with the standard values. And uh, as I uh, mentioned earlier uh, in the previous slide uh, during the line sizing procedure, if your uh, uh, assumptions uh, comply with the recommended values of the velocity and the pressure drop then your pipeline sizing has completed. So in this uh, table you will find the, the standard values for the velocity and the pressure drop according to the type of the fluid. For the liquid which is not which are not viscous the velocity range is in between 1.5 to 4.5 while the pressure drop is 2.2. And for the gas and the vapor, the velocity range is 15 to 30 meter per second, while the pressure drop is 0.02% of the line pressure. Similarly, for the slurry line, velocity range is 1.1 to 2.1 meter per second. 